Iceland is often referred to by photographers as the land of contrast. You can drive 20 minutes down the road, and not only does the landscape completely change, but so does the weather. For 10 days near the end of 2014, local photographer Sean Talbot, along with his production team from State of Mind Films, trekked across Iceland, capturing stunning footage for the final episode of their web series, One Stop Closer. I'd been there, loved it, and said to the crew, hey guys, for our last episode of this season, we should go to Iceland. He had been there and had seen all these great locations, so knew kind of sort of the general um, layout of you know what, what we should cover. But he also knew what he missed out the last trip, so that was great. What he missed during his last trips to the Nordic Island Nation were two very distinct experiences that would become pivotal moments within the 16-minute episode. First, the site of a famous 1973 Navy DC plane crash, and second, the country's renowned ice caves. Um, we'd heard rumors about the wreckage and we were sort of given a rough coordinate for where we might find it. Uh, we spent hours looking everywhere for this thing, just driving around this endless, beautiful, monochromatic landscape. It's on this, what they call black sand beach, so it's like black for like eternity. Like you can't not see anything beyond beyond that and so you don't really know where you're going uh, you're kind of just driving endlessly you don't even know if really if you're like veering off of a path oh, there it is there it is there it is we were struggling to find it we couldn't find it and uh and finally you know just pretty much with our last little few seconds of sunlight we, we came across it i have to say we were treated to a pretty spectacular sunset amazing color so i was really happy with the shots of those Similar to the crash site, the ice caves were an experience that almost didn't happen as high temperatures jeopardized the journey. When we arrived in Iceland, our guide said to us, you know, I don't think this is going to work. We're sitting at about zero plus one degrees. Um, chances are we're not going to be able to get in. So the whole trip, we were kind of on pins and needles hoping that this was going to happen because it was really my kind of main focus for the whole trip. And, uh, and then at the last second, we, get, we got the green light and, and we did it. So that was, that was pretty yeah. cool. I have to say, this has got to be one of the most spectacular things I have ever seen. This ice cave is absolutely gorgeous. The deep blues and the light coming through like crystals. Uh, I just, I can't wait to start shooting. That was the, probably the only time in the whole trip that I think I got like three minutes to just sit back. And I, all three of us, I think, we yeah, all just went. We all went off on our own thing for, for yeah. probably a couple hours. We were in was our it that own. Long? <laughs> I thought it was three minutes. <laughs> oh, no, I think it was a while. With a tight production schedule and far from perfect filming conditions, including a limited five hours of daylight per day, the trip was anything but relaxing. We were still using all of those nighttime hours for travel, for charging batteries, for getting equipment, downloading uh, footage, all that sort of stuff. So it was, our sleep time was very limited. So that's got to be tough because you guys are already stressed as it is trying exactly. to get footage and yeah. then a little sleep. Yeah. yeah, you add the unknown with stress, little sleep, three guys together all the time, 10 days. It, th there were moments that were, it was challenging, for sure. And the calving ice from the glacier uh, breaks off into this lagoon and uh, these hundreds of icebergs all then float out to the ocean. And it's interesting because it's suspected that the iceberg that sunk the Titanic actually originated from this lagoon. To watch the Iceland episode in its entirety, as well as the other episodes of season one, visit onestopcloser.com. Reporting for Go on Shaw TV, I'm Brendan Osborne in Kelowna. Of course, I'm always looking for any opportunity to use the drone. Um, so by sending the drone up and getting it out over the ice, we were able to get unique perspectives that you wouldn't otherwise be able to get.